Oh, you can just pick up the phone, baby. I know you, I know you. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I know I said I was gonna post more videos. I know, I am, I promise. I've been filming a lot of videos, been editing a lot of videos, trying to get a like good pile of them going, so that way when I start posting, I'll have a lot of videos planned out in advance. So I'm really excited to share those with you guys. And if you are someone who posted on my Instagram story and asked me a question, I will be announcing who wins the Starbucks gift card next Saturday. And so keep an eye out for that because I'm really excited. But today I wanted to give you a tour of my new apartment slash townhome. I do go to the University of Kentucky and I live at Student Living Apartments. Um, I will basically just be showing you guys my room and my downstairs and all the decorations and everything that I have up. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the apartment complex that I'm staying at, what my thoughts are, and whether or not I think you guys should try to live here as well if you go to UK. So we're actually just going to go ahead and get started. So we are going to go ahead and start in the living room, the downstairs. So this is the front door. And when you walk in right behind the door, I have a little mat for your shoes with this beautiful plant that I got at Lowe's and a cork board that me and my roommates will be able to hang a bunch of cute stuff on. And the apartment is fully furnished, so it came with this little TV and the entertainment center. I just put my own little decorations down here at the bottom. And then the side table and the couch, the coffee table, all of that came with the apartment. But all of these little decorations we added. So I got these adorable little photos from Home Goods that I love. I got some blankets and pillows from Target. Just a bunch of cute little things to make it feel a little bit more homey. So here's the little dining area that is directly behind the couch so that way you can kind of sit down and have a place to eat with everyone. So it's a pretty big space down here, which I really like. I love that it's very open so that if you have people over and you're hanging out, you can all kind of be in the same area without being too crowded. Over here we have three bar stools, so just some more places to sit and eat. And then this is the kitchen. So I got some a plant right here, and I have some mail organizers since me and all of my roommates actually share the same mailbox. Now if one of us goes to get the mail, we can put it in the right mail organizer for everyone else. So here is a full view kind of all the way around the downstairs with the kitchen in it. There's actually this really large laundry room area. So we keep a lot of cleaning supplies down here and then we have a top um, dryer and bottom washer. So that's really nice, this little area that we can keep all of our cleaning stuff in. We also have a guest bathroom. So my mom and I hung up this shelf and this picture we got a new rug down here. Pretty simple bathroom, but nice that nobody has to go upstairs to anyone's bedroom in order to use the bathroom if they're over visiting. And here is one more shot of the downstairs. Okay, so here is my bedroom. I'm just gonna do a quick pan so you guys can kind of get an idea of everything. So the things that came furnished in my room were the desk, the desk chair, and my bed. There's also some dresser drawers underneath my bed. So I'm going to start over by my bed here. And I've gotten a lot of questions about my photo wall. And if you download the Shutterfly app, they will give you either 4x4 or 4x6 prints for free. You only have to pay a one flat shipping rate for all of the pictures. So I actually got over 100 pictures, but I only paid $11, so that just covered the shipping and everything else was free, so that was cool. And then I just have some music posters over my bed. And then I got my duvet cover from Urban Outfitters. I have all my plants here by my window, and I got my salt lamp from Ross, I think. And then I actually brought these two shelves down here, which I just have some different decorations and then I have my record player down here. And I originally had these stacked on top of each other for my TV, but I didn't like how much room they were taking up in my bedroom. 
So I just put them under here. But then this is actually one of my favorite parts of my room. And in my closet here, which this whole mirror is just my closet, which is a really nice size closet. But if you open this side up, then I actually have my TV in there. So then I can easily watch TV from my bed, but it's not taking up any more space in my room. And then I can just close the door and hide it. So this is my whole closet. I have my vinyl covers up here. Then I have some different postcard decorations. And then I have these corkboard hexagons here that I just put a bunch of my own pictures on. This rug I got from Five Below. I'm pretty sure everyone in the universe has this rug, but I love it. So that's the one that I have here in my room. And then I have a bunch of different kind of plant decorations over here near my desk. I got this macrame hanger at, I think, TJ Maxx or something. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I got that last year. And then they have, I got my little letter board from Target, I think, for like $10. So just a cute, a bunch of cute little decorations that I have added around here. And then what's really nice about my room also is that the bathroom is actually attached. So each bedroom in the apartment has its own bathroom in it. So this is really nice for privacy and just not having to share a bathroom or anything. And it's a pretty good sized bathroom, so that is really nice. And I just have some little shelving there for our organization. But here is another view of my whole room. I'll probably be linking a lot of the things that I have as decorations in the description below. And so if you guys are interested in getting any of these things that I have here, then you guys will be able to buy those and find them online as well. So that is the tour of what the downstairs looks like and the upstairs in my bedroom. There are three other bedrooms here and my roommates are gonna be moving in tomorrow so they'll be able to decorate theirs and make it look like whatever they want and they'll each have their own bathroom inside as well. There are actually three stories in the townhome total. So the downstairs and then the second floor has two bedrooms and then the third floor has two more bedrooms which is where my bedroom is so it's really nice size i definitely feel at home when i'm here which i really like i did want to go over a little bit more about the apartment complex and what my experience has been like so far i actually live at 524 and 525 angliana which if you are going to uk or you're from lexington you definitely know where that is or if you're new to lexington you'll probably hear of it and know a lot of people that end up living there especially students so angliana is a student living housing complex and the people like when you go into the office are usually very nice but I just feel like the management of the whole place is not that great. For example, when I first moved in here I was actually subleasing from one of my friends and they forced her to move out of the apartment five days before I could move in it so that they had time to clean which was frustrating but I understood like okay it's their responsibility to get the apartment ready for me to move in so we made it work whatever. But then the day that I actually moved in, I found out that they had not even come into the apartment one time. They basically forced her to move out five days early and never even came in and cleaned anything. It was just really frustrating that they um, mostly inconvenienced her that way, but then didn't even clean like they said they were going to. So that was really frustrating to come into. It's also frustrating to me because they give you one guest parking pass so I understand that like, you know, we can't have everyone having 20 people over and filling up all the parking spots, but it's just frustrating because, you know, there was a limit to how many people you could have checked in in your dorm room. And now it feels the same way. Like I can either have one person come over or I have to have all of my friends arranged to carpool somehow. And so it's just annoying that living in an apartment, I still don't have as much freedom as I would want to. If you lose the guest parking pass, you have to pay $250. This is like a normal parking pass. It's just like laminated paper. 
It is so ridiculous. And again, I understand that they just can't have people come in and say they lost their guest parking pass and now they have 10 guest parking passes. But I feel like $50 would have sufficed and people would not be abusing that system. So that's super frustrating to me as well. I would say the other most frustrating part, they won't come in and clean anything. My mom and I deep cleaned the entire thing so that it was ready for our new roommates to move in. And not that I would expect them to come and clean up after me, but it's also not necessarily my responsibility to clean up after the other three people that were living here before me. And so it was just frustrating. I feel like they don't really do as much as they should. I don't know. That was just my experience as a new resident. Overall, I really do like my apartment. I like it a lot more now that I have decorations in here and it feels a little more cozy and more like home. But overall, I think just the management could be a little bit better, but I really have tried to minimize how much I have to deal with that. And so, like I said, the people at the front desk, they're really nice. They aren't really the issue. I think this is a larger issue than like anyone that you might see in like the leasing office or anything like that. But I don't know, they just have a lot of unnecessary fees and I'm just not really, I'm not impressed by the efforts they've put into cleaning and you know, making sure the apartment looks nice when new people are moving in. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions about student living in general, I lived on campus at UK for two years and now I'm living in student living housing off campus. So if you're new to UK or you're interested to have more questions about living off campus and what that's been like, definitely feel free to message me. I'll leave all of my social medias after the video. And so feel free to ask me any questions. I have all of my DMs open everywhere and otherwise, the school is starting next week, so I'm really excited for everyone that's going to UK. Um, I know, I'm really excited. I'm about to start my junior year, and I just can't wait. So I hope you guys have an awesome school year, and keep an eye out next week for the, the Starbucks card giveaway winner.